in my Escape from Middletown series. I'm here at the Wildwood, New Jersey Boardwalk, Labor Day weekend, Saturday of 2020. I wanted to hop a tram car, but I haven't seen any get on, so I'm not going to film the whole boardwalk, but I'm taking take a little walk on it So I stop again. I got to visit with Randy at Randy Land with Retro Arcade and Fascination. I actually ran into some friends down here, which is amazing. My friends Brandon Hoffman and his wife, Samantha. I remember playing this game with my nephew here in the 90s and I brought him shoot the bazooka tanks. Plenty of beach towels. And the rides are operating. Yes, they are. Everything's pretty normal here in Wildwood, New Jersey. Which is a good thing. Some people are wearing masks, some are not. I've stayed in that hotel before. I grew up coming here in the 70s. My parents uh, used to come here a lot after Lake City kind of went downhill and we fell in love with Wildwood. And I kind of say that my store and a lot of things in my life have been fashioned after my experiences of hanging out here. My love of the carnivals and the rides and the arcades and rock and roll shops, which is, we're passing one right now. All kind of come from uh, being here as a child or a teenager. In the 60s, we went to Atlantic City. And starting in the 70s, we started coming here a lot. Like I said, the tram cars, I don't know if they're running lesser than usual. Usually can hop on one, I was going to just catch a ride in the tram car and film from that. But I haven't had any luck getting on them, and they've been pretty crowded from what ones I saw. The beach is great. I'm not going to make it there today. I don't have time. I'm leaving here been here since around 11. I've got to leave here about 4. And I'm going to take in the racing over at the Bridgeport Speedway today. I'm trying to stay happy and do some interesting things in the summer of 2020. Which 2020 has been a struggle for most. If you're enjoying 2020, Please comment. Let me know why you're enjoying it, other than this time we spend with family and whatnot more. Kind of wish I could go on the Ferris wheel, but I don't think time's allowing it now. Great candy, look at that. Waffles and ice cream. Fried dough, funnel cakes, fried Oreos. Can't beat it, right? Not getting political on this walk, but I am amazed at the amount of Trump merchandise that is here. Some nice tributes to uh, the actor that played the Black Panther on a boardwalk with some shirts. I will not be leaving the boardwalk until I got a Sam's Pizza Palace and I get one of their cheese steaks and a couple slices of pizza for the ride to Bridgeport and of course some french fries. Ed's Funcade. Snow White. I supposedly got the best roast beef sandwich on the boardwalk, I've been told. I don't know if I've ever had one. I haven't stayed down here in about 10 years due to my wife's not able to travel. There's a black light miniature golf upstairs here. I never checked that out. It sounds amazing. And yes, I have a mask on. In case you're saying, see you're not being safe. 
being as safe as I can be. Same mask, well, different mask than I wear to work, but I've got a couple, luckily. And I'm getting in my steps today, obviously, without riding the tram car. We haven't even come across a tram car in my walk today. The arcades are cranking. I haven't run against any pinballs, but I haven't really delved into the arcades, except for Randy, Randy Senna, who was on Hoarders, is a collector of memorabilia pinball machines and arcade games. He has a spot on the boardwalk this summer, and I actually ran into some friends from Middletown, if you can believe it. We went and played Fascination. We had a good time. I won some prizes. Prizes that are from the 1970s. Or he said they're about 50 years old, these uh, carnival games I won from him. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to display them when I get home. Hey, here's the legendary tram car. This is Maury's Pier. Well, Maury's Pier. And you can see. Pretty much business as usual. Please note that due to various safety issues, face shields are not permitted on certain rides and attractions and will need to be replaced by a face mask if you choose to ride. Please remember to play safe by following social distancing guidelines and markers in all key lines and maintaining a six foot distance from those not in your travel party. At certain locations, including prior to boarding ride vehicles, guests will be required to use hand sanitizer. Somebody won the bowl. For your convenience, hand sanitizer stations the bowl, see are located the throughout our facilities. The day, this is Mariner's Landing, actually. Maury's Pier is the next one up. We thank you for your patience as we strive to provide a safe and enjoyable environment for all of our guests and associates. Hot spot. The Coca-Cola joint. One of my old go-kart tracks, I hit the go-kart track this morning up at the Sportland Pier. Did two races, pretty good. It's a big wooden pier that has a road course of go-karts and they go pretty fast. And it was a lot of fun, I used to do it here a lot back in the day. I grew up coming here playing pinball, racing go-karts, going to the beach. There's the Seaport Aquarium. This used to be a ride-through pirate show. A pirate game, like you would, a pirate exhibit. Those are pretty cool. These are made from the boardwalk, wow. Used to be James, so what is happy? It's now Shrivers. I'm talking down here. Eleanor's gifts and souvenirs has been here since I've been coming. Not sure if it's the same management, but a very cool little store. Old school.
the legendary Douglas Fudge. I believe it's been open on the boardwalk since 19. 19. Of course, Max Pizza.